to talk about um, framing your artwork from oil paintings, acrylic, pastel, watercolor, and I will give a little short demo, and maybe you will get a couple little tricks and something. I'm sure you will get something out of this. Um, first, first, what I would tell people is get a box and you put all your friendly stuff in it so you can gather things and you can everything is together when you have to frame it that way the last minute. So today we're going to start on an acrylic painting with no glass. I have my little campaign. And this one is just on a board. Did you get So I'll put it in the back. And I will use uh, you. This is nice to have, really. It's just like a stapler. And it will shoot some little points. Say? <coughs> Easy to use. And I say yes. Okay. 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 No problem. Uh, the staple is a uh, Logan dual driver. Yeah, and it's that is so nice to have. And you just put it in your box and you have it when you need it. What did you just do? Uh, online to Jerry Autorama or Michael may have it. And I tell you, it, it is nice to have. Then my little artwork here. It's like this the back of it. We want the piece of work to hang straight on the wall. It has to be really straight. You know, way back when I started framing, um, actually, <laughs> that's kind of funny, I took framing with uh, Larson Jewel, and that was in the 80s. And in the 80s, we would be hanging a piece of work that the work had to fall off the wall, but now it's has to be straight on the wall. So try to measure less than one third from the top. Okay, so like on this one. <clears throat> I will measure here maybe, well it's eight and um, Six inches, so a third. I would probably put it just less than a third, one inch and a half. And I think my little driver, you know, I'm not very strong. So what I do is, um, you know, hammer. See? See these little hammers? And they're so cute. Huh? And you can open it and you have a screwdriver and you have other little things. They're fun. Little ranch. And Walmart. Guess what? I got the two last ones. <laughs> and that's what we're going to have for our drawing today. Say. Okay. Uh, so, five dollars. So you can uh, <laughs> afford that. And um, you can get away with little screws. 
or you can use these little nice little things. I like to use them for um, larger paintings. These you just put on one side, then on the other side you will have be able to put your wire. Where do you get them? Michael's, um, you know, Joanne, uh, Hobby Lobby. They have everything at Lobby Hobby. Sometimes, if you use these larger, Yeah, this larger one. They're really nice when I frame something larger. I will use them. And and also they're really nice to use. Huh? And also I have this. You just put your little screw and say that's that's easy to use. So I keep it in my box when I need it. I have it. Um, so, now the little eye, you just kind of screw it in. It's easy because I already touched my hole, so it's not too bad. Huh? My little wires. They have like um, plastic coated wires or regular threaded wires. Safe. And you know what? Easy to cut with just scissors. So I'm going to just twist it. And I try to put it twice in the low loop. Then I just twist it. A rule of thumb, you have to twist it at least six times. Try to twist it a little tight, which is nice. your wire tight huh? and because over time it's going to loosen up and if you use these it's easy the, the little machine will do the work for you so you don't have to, to kind of move it but, oh here I use this if I have a hard time Twist it around. See how nice it is. Easy now. Don't put the scissors. You don't need a wire cutter or I have it, but I don't use it. And twice around. Then just kind of twist it around. Now it's going to hang really flat on the wall. So this is for your oil and acrylic. Now we're going to step on a couple little things that I will have to do about um, watercolor, prints. Your glass. I try to not use Windex because there are some not so good with next. Uh, just um, what I like to use is um, uh, uh, clear glass. Clear glass is good. Or just water and vinegar. So you clean your glass with water and vinegar. Why did you say not to use Windex? Yeah, it's preferable to not use Windex. I don't think they make it as good as they used to be. They probably put some kind of additive in it. And it used that it didn't matter a few years ago, but now it seems like people complain about it. So uh, even water, clear water, then you could take a damp rag with vinegar. That would clean it really nice. So you just put your glass in. And in here, I tell you, this is a little painting. 
Now, what's very important is to use acid-free tape. That too you can get in the stores or online. Or, and you don't uh, take the hole. Little on the top, right? And a little bit on the side. It's easy to remove, it won't take all the, the paper away, so, and make sure it's taped well. See? So the artwork will read. Now, if you have a um, pastel, pastel is, um, they're fragile. You have to be careful with your pastel. Just the little uh, um, let's see this is a pastel. Your friend. It's see, it's a big old double. I mean, if you put it reverse and you put it like on a way you're not showing the big old, you put it reverse. There's a teeny bit of extra space in between for, your, for the pastel um, grains and dust to just settle in between your mats instead of on the glass. And at that time, um, okay, so you want to be able at the front. Pastel. <laughs> okay, pastel, what you were going to do is here, you know, it just tells you about pastel, like the mat, the mat or double mat will provide air space between the glass and the face of the art core. The mat, the mat will provide a circulation that prevents mold, growth, and moisture that may buckle the art core. So, in jet, just a little inch. Oops. Just an inch. Et voila. So your artwork will breathe. See? The artwork will breathe. And because the little bevel is inside, it's going to let the dust settle behind the mat. And um, that's just on pastel, you're saying? Not on just on pastel. Just on pastel because it's dusty. So it's it's nice to just hinge it really good and um, let it breathe even more. I usually leave it inside. Can I put a little piece of tape on the bottom? Of the piece of the bottom? Never bottom. Always for your, for your watercolor, put it on the top and a little bit on the side. Let it breathe. And it will prevent from buckling mm -hmm. or you mm -hmm. it. And what about being in the outdoor show? Mm -hmm. really it's the same. It's the same. I mean, you shouldn't be in the outdoor show. Moisture. It's the same. Uh, and that's the glass. That it, uh, keep them out of the out of the, the sun. Definitely. Oh yes. And now I'm just going to give you a couple tidbits to frame your your artwork and some tricks on that because you know, we want something nice. This is 
for friends, for pasta, for... Again, and this is really nice that those, you cannot go without that. Now, if you have, if you have an oil painting and the back looks good, just staple it, it's fine, acrylic oil, they don't need a back. But if you have a watercolor or a pastel, you want your back to be covered. So I came with a few way, uh, ways for you to really use your little um, here we go. You have this double-sided tape. <coughs> right? Double-sided tape, it's very good to have, I tell you. You cannot live without it. Is that at Michael's too? I'm not sure what this, I think it's just online. Oh, it's more like a tape. I don't think so. I, I get mine online. I don't understand why I lost the beginning. I do have, um, what's wrong with my tape? You know what? It wasn't a car too long. Oh. I, I, I went to um, plein air painting at the park yesterday, 89 degree weather. And I think that's how they messed up my tape. Yeah. 
go around. It's going to be a really tight little white spot. And if you have the right size, there's no problem. Put it on and that's it. But if you have a little trimmer, then you just kind of trim the edges. Or you can use a razor blade, but please don't use a razor blade. No, this is a, a trimmer's. That's. They don't make them anymore. Oh. <laughs> but they do have little trimmers. I've seen them online. I've seen them some places. You just you put it on the side of your uh, little mat, and you just kind of you just kind of. Around. Now, what you want to do is you also want to identify your work. It's very important. Because you have to push so hard. is your artwork, <coughs> make sure you put the business card behind, and that's where it comes nice to have that double side tape, and I tell you, it's not going to go anywhere with that. <laughs> and there's another trick I would give. Okay. So no matter what it is, I'm and what I do is, with a marker, I just put what it is, daisy, and I, I could put probably oil, or this one is oil, I put oil. Don't date your off work. And I'll show you something. your artwork, number that it helps you. Like on a with this, it's got a frame, a kind of frame. I got the title, and many things. I got the number 1017. Guess what? It was done in 2010. So every year I start my artwork, I do like, like if it's 2018, I will do um, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you know, I mean 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 20, 18, 0, 1, 0, 2. So then at the end of the year, I probably painted maybe 40, 60 paintings and like they all have an number. Then I go next year, then you always know what year you painted them. It's easy to record your thing. Now, this pen, Frank, eight years ago, um, I had to replace the wire. The wire was too loose, so that I replaced that. There is these little things here. That's how you frame your pen thing. And sometimes I use paint the same size all the time. This one is really stuck on the phone. Let's say you paint on this nice little clip. So many See? These little clips, they're nice for your oil painting. And nothing stops you from putting your wire behind the canvas. Get it? And if you paint, let's say you have six painting, 12 by 16, and you have only three frames, you can switch your painting on different frame. Get it? Which is fun, so don't forget. I mean, you don't necessarily, there's no rules that will tell you to put it on your frame. 
they can put it direct on their canvas. And also less than a third, like much less than a third. That's the rule. So that's just a little trick. Oh, Michael, you sell them. Sometimes you have to put this time, this one only had two. Sometimes you, you have to put four to really make sure it's solid in. This one just so tight. Is it just Yeah, you just, uh, you just yeah. hook it under. I'm always the frames are all on the screen. Voila. Yeah, them are really nice to have. Yes, exactly. And this one too, I would put a business card behind. And you have any questions? That's pretty much it. Oh, let's have our drawing, okay? I'm very messy in whatever I do. When I cook, it's all over the place. I frame no order. I'm messy. Oh my god. Okay, we're going to. Um, but it's nice to have your little tools and toolbox and get an exacto knife, get everything in it. You look very organized to me. <laughs> kind of. Okay. I can see why you have everything in one bin. Exactly. So then I bring it with me and I just like, you know, it, it's there. I can do a lot of things in that. And, and, and even my wires I have, I like to use separated wires, but I have different thickness. So if I have to uh, frame my little miniatures, I have this teeny little things and little teeny hooks. So everything is in. Now we're going to have a drawing. Who wants to draw it? You draw it. Come on, Carol. <laughs> oh, did you get the duck? Number 8834984. What is it? Four nine eight. Right here. Right here. Yeah. Oh, yay! Oh, wow. See? Nice hammer. Yeah. Okay. All right. Nice little hammer. Is there anything that I want to draw? Okay. Ah. Perfect, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I need one of these little yeah. ones. Is that the one that ends up with or something? Yeah. 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 Pretty slick. <laughs> Eight eight three five two five. I want to get another one. Maybe take a while. Might as well stay up there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here I have, and the 883487. Perfect. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> So we have a winner. So do we have any questions? Um, let's Oh, yeah, and yeah, and they come with a model. They they give you like the model Logan, and they give you the model that you have. Depend what model you have, like. So that is it for today. Thank you so much.